famous explorer once said.
Okay, I'm ready to go. Sorry for the delay. Five people were watching nothing. What's wrong with you guys? Oh, look at this Yes, it did say something. Can you hear it? I'm just going to turn the game audio, oops, oops, the game audio off, and then you guys can hear it in the background while I play it. That should be good. And yeah. What am I doing again? Oh, this is so confusing the computer in front of me. What is this? What am I doing? Um, Dutch, I sent you... A link to it. There you are. Okay. I will play now. Can you say something, Dashit? So I can make sure it's working? Original. Well, I'm going to play, and we'll see what happens. Can you guys hear the audio okay? I don't have thumbs, but that's okay. If Deadwing Duck can play video games with only one hand and a claw, then I think an otter can play video games too. Hello? Hey, that's it. Uh, I, I had to, uh, about. Okay. Some for some reason it was um had been muted. Yeah, I I couldn't figure out how to start a hangout without because I wasn't thinking straight. Starting a hangout like the regular way, and so I did this thing, and this is weird, and I don't like it. But oh well, it's working now. What? Is, oh, I was supposed to shoot. Bang bang. Uh oh. Oh! This game is very gimmicky. Oh, I, I got a rope finally. I feel like this is too loud. I want you guys to be able to hear it, but. While, we're, while I'm talking, I don't want you to not be able to hear me talking or it or hear them both. What? Oh, okay. Shoot. Rope. What the? Okay. Ow! This game plays so much like Uncharted. Oh crap! Ow! I'm in dead. <coughs> okay, let's try this again. So how are you, Dadget? I'm fine, I'm just gonna take away like... That's good. 
Unless you don't want it. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I've got the sh um, stream going at the same time. But I've muted the stream so I can hear you. Whee! Oh, crap. <sighs> Fighting in this game is so annoying, I don't like it. Can I shoot a rope arrow at him? <gasps> I can! Cool. Take that! Uh, this doesn't really feel like a Tomb Raider game. I really like the previous ones they worked on before the reboot. Um, I saw my Tim Raider the Legend. Yeah, well, they they did that, and then they did, uh, they remade the first one, and they kind of made it like a part of the Tomb Raider Legend sort of storyline, and then they made Underworld, which combined all three of them into to making it a trilogy. I really liked it. Like Tomb Raider Legend was really good. I thought. I, I didn't like it, and I, I've not liked, um, not really liked Tomb Raider since, um, Legend. Anniversary I never actually beat because I was, I was playing it on the Wii, and the Wii's controls for it were really frustrating. But, yeah. Yeah, they used to, um, they had some, um, features on the Wii version of, oh, we, we <coughs> had some features on a Wii versions of the games. Yeah, puzzles and stuff. There were a few unique things, but just the controls were really frustrating. You had to use the um, Wiimote every time. Yeah, that was how you played the game, with the Wiimote and Nunchuck. But yeah, this just feels way too much like Uncharted. Like, it's not a bad thing, because Uncharted's good. But it just feels like they could have uh, tried to make it more Tomb Raider-y. Yeah, I remember when Uncharted first came out, and, um, you know, seeing um, on the internet people, you know, writing up about how Uncharted's coffee Tomb Raider book has done it better. <laughs> That's funny. And I then, never thought of it like that. Oh, no, I don't want to be spied at. Thank you, though. The, the reboot of Tomb Raider came out, and it's like, well, the reboot of um, the reboot of Tomb Raider, the one you're playing now, um, it's copied Uncharted. But um, I'm not sure they said it was better or not, but... What am I supposed to do here? It's supposed to be better than the previous, oh. not like Legends and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just, I, I don't know, but, like, it's, if this is okay, it's just, I miss Tomb Raider. I miss Tomb Raider. Because this is, she's, like, trying to survive, and she's, like, murdering a bunch of people, and while you did that in other games in the series, there, it's less about exploring. This is, I don't know. More about her experience. Yeah, they they emphasize the combat in uh, the trailer for the latest one because they keep showing her like fighting people and it's like I don't know why they're not emphasizing the tomb raiding. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. there there's a um, Optional tombs. They, they say tombs, but they're more like rooms. Yeah, they're just like puzzle rooms. rooms. And um, what's it? There's no tombs in the or the one the one you're playing. I'm not sure about the new one on the Xbox One. Well, it's not going to just be on the Xbox, obviously, because it's not selling that well. Xbox just well, has Halo. 
apparently um, it's done decently for, I mean, they've said it's done well for, you know, being on the Xbox only, mm-hmm. but at the moment. Well, it was an exclusive, timed exclusive, and that was a really bad decision because it's not selling a really small amount. I think the seventh level was making jokes about that, I think on Twitter the other day, or a couple of days ago or something. Yeah, it, it, it's done poorly compared to the 2013 one. Yep. Because it, I, it's only on Xbox right now. Yeah. wonder if I can murder that guy. It probably wouldn't let yeah. me. Have you played this already, or...? Uh, I've played it for probably a couple, three hours, maybe. I was just... In, there was just a scene where I call the plane down to help me or to like save us and then the plane I don't know what happened but it like got hit by lightning and then lit on fire and crashed and there's this whole little sequence where you're sliding down a mountain side or something and the plane's trying to kill you oh you mean then they crashed and it was going down as you sliding down yeah it's it was really gimmicky yeah, um, I f- finished this game, so kind of know how it ends and whatnot. Don't spoil it for me. Spoil it. Does Does a Star Wars character die in it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'll do anything. Time to go on an adventure. I'm gonna try to kill him first, though. They won't let me fire it. Lame. What if she was like psychotic or something and wants to murder people? Let me play it the way I want to play it. What I found funny while playing this is. She'll kill somebody and then she she'll get all very emotional and then as as soon as that scene's over, she can just slaughter like countless more people <laughs> yeah. and not react. Like it's like, well, I've already killed one, so what's an extra five hundred people? This fire, I, I'm just in this dark area and I lit the fire thing, the little torch, and I can't see anything still. I guess I wasn't yeah, supposed to go in there. Let's go down here. See what it's done. Well, did, you, did you slide down from there? I don't know. Maybe I did. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, because you're not. Yeah, it's not allowing you up, and I think when you jump on it, you slid down a bit. Why can't there be like a rope gun where you shoot bullets that have rope attached to it? <laughs> that makes no sense. Yeah, the beginning of this game was so gimmicky, with all the quick time events. Like, who thought that was a good idea? Well, blame Resident Evil for for introducing quick time events, or popularizing them at least. I don't. Well, yeah, I guess they did do that, but they didn't do it to the extent that this was doing it. It was like, I died so many times because I kept screwing up because I wasn't exactly sure what I was supposed to be doing. Because like, I would die, like, it's like, shoot the person, I'm like, okay, and then then I'm getting strangled to death, and, and then I die. And it was just really confusing. All right. And she also has Witcher senses. Oh, yeah. Oops. Die! I could have been sneaky, but I didn't. He just got an arrow in his shoulder. He should be dead. I love how she breaks it and then suddenly she has pieces. It's like, what? Oh. Did the games come out in 2013? Did what? The Hunger Games movie, was it, were they already being released? Um, uh, the books had already been out. 
for a while, and the movies, I can't remember when the movies started coming out. Probably before this, the first game came out. Why? Because bow and arrow? No, I was just thinking. Yeah. I was just thinking if they come oh, just decided that would be cool, let's put that in it. Well, it kind of makes sense because of whatever, but also it's like, yeah, they probably did it because of that. Because bows are cool. I remember there was this one, like, romantic comedy that looked really dumb, but there was one really funny part in it that they included in the trailer. And it was this little girl shoots somebody in the leg or something with a bow. And she's like, I'm Katniss! And then she shoots him and it's like, that's hilarious! But that was about it. And I don't even remember what the movie was. So memorable. Well, it's bad when you can argue that the one scene from the trailer. Well, that was like the best the best scene in the whole movie that and they included it in the trailer. And it's like, oh, well, that was a great little short film. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm glad that I um, didn't see the Titanic movie trailer back when it was first, you know, released in the 90s. I mean, I, th I was too young, I think, to actually be able to have access to the trailer to begin with. But, um... Wasn't the internet just becoming a thing? Yeah. Um, for for me, oh, you had to um, use your rope arrow on that to yep. pull it. So it. Um, Where are you heading? Yeah. For 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 me, the the only reason that I'd watched the Titanic is not for the story; it's for the ship sinking. Yeah, that's why that movie was stupid. It shouldn't have been about that. There was this one movie, I can't remember what it was called, it was something like the the day, a day the night a night to remember or something. And it was about the Titanic. And it was really good and it didn't just focus on some stupid love story that never actually happened. Well, he he included the love story um to to just it's a bit like Kerma story in Mario games. It's it's there to set up what you're actually going to do, really, and it's yep. to watch the shit sink. It's what he knew it would help make. It would help the oh crap! It would help make the movie. It would help the movie make money. Yeah. And so he just put it in there, and then he did the same thing in Avatar. It's there's really just, there's oh. a ship sinking in the. I was so. No, there's a stupid love story. <laughs> also, a giant tree sinks, sort of. So basically, turn Titanic into an alien love story, and the ship into a giant tree. Basically. That movie was so bad. It was amazing and perfect. It just, it looks so dated now, too. Like, I look at it, it's like, that doesn't even look real, and how did anyone think it did? Crap, crap, crap. It just, the CGI, the the creatures he designed, they look so stupid, like especially the, the Navi or whatever, they look so stupid that it's like, how did anyone think this looked cool or even realistic? It's because everyone wants it to be a giant blue cat at the time. No, that was mostly just weeaboos. The movie was clearly inspired by anime, especially the character design. The weeaboos. A weeaboo, a weeaboo, a weeaboo, a weeaboo. And the thing right now is in the jungle. Yeah. Song. <laughs> I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to be going. I'm just going to go everywhere and see what happens. I don't think I should have gone down there. Oh, I can get up. Let's run and play! This is um, a very old linear game. I think that's the right word, you know, it, you know like just like um, from point A to point B. It is? Because it feels very well, open. Well, if you, if you were to um, backtrack and try and collect all the, you know, um, 
collectibles and hidden, you know, hidden things and all that. Mm -hmm. And it immediately becomes so, so small, like so small little mm -hmm. containment levels. But as you're playing, you're going through, it seems so open and big. How's this supposed to get across? Jam! You know, you went the wrong way. Oops. Wait, I think I've actually been here before. Maybe I haven't. Yes, I have. Yeah, because that that's time. where the bridge used to be, and then it... Oh. Drop! I love how it's like you hold the, oh, yeah, the right. button down to light it on fire. And then the thing drops, and then you can salvage it. It's like she's retarded, and she doesn't know how to cut things. <laughs> ah, chicken. Come here, chicken. Come on. It'll be, it'll be funny if um, they made Lara Croft and had Down Syndrome in the next two minute game. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so funny because like people's like, oh, you you need to include diversity. Like, we'll just make her Down syndrome for no reason. She's just damn that chicken. Damn it, chicken simulator. They should do a ch chicken simulator. It'll be like goat simulator except with chickens. Stupid chicken. Hey, where's Link when you need him? You can go beat that chicken to death. Hmm. Okay. Link has got in the sex change of a mom. <laughs> He's getting a little linkle. <laughs> Crap, where am I supposed to go? I think I went the wrong way, obviously, so... we. One of the best things about the original games... Was that you, you know could, like, huh? It's all about the ones in the nineties. Yeah, it was like her dying. You just love to wa watch her die, not in like a weird, creepy way, but in like it's fun. It's fun to watch her die. Even in this especially game, it's when, kind of fun. Especially when Jim she got, got impaled on spikes. Yeah, just a kind of a initial impact noise. And then you just see her slowly slide down a little bit before obviously goes game over. Yep. They removed Say hi to Dad, like, all hi, the deaths Dad. in Legend of Night. My mom's in here, she said hi. Hello. How are you? Oh, uh, I was gonna say, I'm alright. Yeah. Was, uh, what I was gonna say is I'm half left off, right? <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> Laura, go on. Go with your grandma. Are you going to take Bo to Star Wars? No! <laughs> Smuggling him in as a baby. It's <laughs> so funny. It's like, what is it? Oh, it's just a baby. That looks like a dog. No, it's just a baby. It's like, but why are you British? I don't know. It's a deformed baby. How dare you ask why this? Check your privilege. <laughs> I didn't need to do that. I guess I'm going in the right direction now. So I don't know what I'm doing. We'll go up here and see what happens. Uh -huh. I love though, it's like, it's so funny how with, uh, that one guy calling um, that female lead character. What was that? What is that? Maddie Sue. Yeah, that was so funny. Why is that going? What is a Maddie Sue character? Is it somebody who it's, is... It's a character perfect. that is. It originally started out as like a thing that um, female fans would include in fan fiction as like, this is me and I'm the best and I'm going to beat everyone and be the, be better than their regular characters and it was mostly w women who did it or, or girls or whatever who would do that and so because of that it was it took on a female context 
But there's also the term Gary Sue, which is literally the same thing. But it's a character oh, yeah. who's just perfect and can do no wrong. And yeah. Flawless. Yeah, and uh, flawless in, in the way that it's, it's really stupid and doesn't... It's just a sign of bad writing. Yeah, it's like no one in real life is flawless. Yeah, well, except for Jesus, but we won't get into that. Oh, it's so Jesus. Yeah. No, but it's like, even even though, even with Jesus, it's, he wasn't exactly like a Mary Sue because he didn't want to die. He didn't want to die for everyone's sins. Like, he's like, I don't want to die. Please take this cup from me. And, like, that's not a very Mary Sue thing to do. Yeah. So even he had a humanity in him. What's going on here? But, yeah, that's a, that's a whole different thing. Um, but, yeah, Mary Sues are just... I've always kind of thought, is Mary Poppins a Mary Sue? Because she's completely perfect. But she's also not the main character. And that's the whole point that she's like she comes in and just fixes things. Well, if you watch The Simpsons, she's not perfect, and she gets um, killed by a jet plane. <laughs> that's the best episode. But but she's not Mary Poppins. She's is it Sherry Bobbins? I'm not sure, but I think it's like Paul Mc. You know, I think kept asking like, "Aren't you Mary?" He's like, "No, no, 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 I don't know." <laughs> Like Ricky Rouse or Ronald Muck. Yeah. I love this. I just thought it was weird how in England it's considered like a kid's show. Or at least that's the impression I got. Well, I think um, it's a cartoon that the family can watch. Yeah, but not necessarily because there's episodes where they're like... There, it's about the there's that one episode where they're running around naked and it was about them trying to like get their groove back and the only way was to run around naked and have sex in like public places it's like how yeah, is that something in, for families they, they land in the stadium and then like, yeah that's how it ends take a picture last longer and then they just saw a lot of camera clicks yep What is happening? What? What is going on? That was confusing. And there's the episode that they did where they go to uh, London or whatever. They actually... It was so weird. I was reading the story of how they, they were able to get... To, uh, was it Tony Blair? Yeah, the Prime Minister at the time. They were able to get him to do his own voice. And the way they did it was they worked out a way... To where they could meet in some weird area and record it and it was in like I, it was so weird but it's an interesting story the, but the fact that like this sitting prime minister at the time was on the simpsons it's just so funny that's <laughs> just so bizarre oh that thing opened well but tony blair's pure evil on that song yeah well i think he always was it's just I always kind of liked Tony Blair just because he didn't seem like, I don't know. I just kind of liked him. Like the, the latest guy is like, what is wrong with your country? Everything's is turning okay? to crap. It's all about Britain. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oops. Oh, crap. This is an annoying puzzle. I'm not sure how this is done. Well, I was doing it, I just didn't jump at the right time. And then also, they had J.K. Rowling do her own voice work, I think. When they went to England. Oh, poor old J.K. Rowling. She can't write another book about it. <laughs> she does have... An, I, like I'm an, I'm annoyed by how she keeps talking about Harry Potter and stuff. And crap, dang it, I did it wrong again. Um, or how no, she keeps no, talking no. about Harry Potter. 
But if you get that thing all the way up, then close that thing, and then it'll okay. wait for it. But yeah, like, I, I'm getting sick of her talking about Harry Potter constantly. When it's the only thing that, that makes him money nowadays. Yeah, but I'm just kind of frustrated with her because it's like she's like, oh, I'm not going to write any more books. And then she's like, but now I'm going to do a play and um, a spin off movie trilogy and a bunch of things. And it's like, shut up! And just stop revealing little things when you want to be in the news. It's like, oh yes, um, I, uh, Harry has a name that's silly, or I don't know. She just reveals really dumb things all the time. And it started when she revealed that Dumbledore was gay. <laughs> it was just so weird. Crap. Like, oh yeah, I always thought of Dumbledore as gay. It's like, is he gay or did you just think of him as gay? She always thought of him as gay. Did that, does that mean she um, thought of him in the act, as it were? Well, she always thought of him with a cock in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Try this again. Come on, get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Let's see. Am I going to do it? Come on. No. No, I think I have to stay towards the back. Uh, this game is horrible. I want to throw it in the trash. Try this one more time. Oh, my brother's online. Everyone go become friends with him. On, not friends or whatever, but... Is it friends on PlayStation Network? I think so. Yeah, go oh, become friends with him. Stop it. His name is The Rapist ACG. It's actually supposed to be Therapist, but it looks like Rapist. Damn it! How did it fit the Butcher Coaching? Do that um, Butcher Power thing. See if there's anything else in the room that can help The you. Witcher Power. It's just so Witcher Powery. It's like, did this come out afterwards? This that may have come out, out before. before. Yeah. Came out. Oh, which are free, but I'm not sure how long these had those. Which oh, are no, those. it's a ripoff of the Batman thing, the detective mode. It's probably a ripoff of everything. Come on, let's go! Let's go! Keep, yeah. keep doing it on circles as high as it can. Fuck! Can't you get any higher? I don't know. So last time went so high that it hit. Yeah, I did it right the first time. I just jumped at the wrong point. I hate puzzles. Puzzles are stupid. I hate everything. Sure does. There's something you can do to get that get, stay get close there. longer. Get up there. Get. What the hell? Like, wh I don't think there's anything I can do. That I'm just doing it wrong every time. <laughs> it's telling you to press a button when you are on that then. I'm the worst gamer ever. I don't even know what video games are. What is the video game? What's the real video game? Let's go, let's go, let's go! Yeah, I did it! I'm the best! If I admit I'm a terrible video game person, then I'll make it every single time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you wanna be my gamer girl, take your top off. What? Jump! Yay, thank you, Buddha!
There should be there should be DLC for the new one where Laura takes her top off. The, the take your top off DLC. It won't, it'll never be DLC, but it'll be it'll be a mod. No, no, no. It's, it's DLC, it's but she takes her top off. It's just her bra underneath. And it's like this is a strong, feminine woman with a bra, so it's okay. I think it, I think they'll save that DLC for when they make her with Down syndrome. <laughs> no, no. Okay, she takes her top off, but it's a pink bra, and it says like breast cancer awareness. That would be funny. It's like they troll everyone. It's like the guys who wanted to see her boobs. They're like, oh, this will be the most cool. And then oh, for all the feminists who get upset, they're like, oh, good. They're raising awareness for breast cancer. Honestly, I think I just stumbled on something amazing. Because but not your objects. <laughs> so that was a tomb. Yeah, that's, that's, this is what the tombs are now. Small little puzzle, real things. It's a little offshoot, a little side quest. There's no tombs in this game. I'm not sure about the new one. No, okay, but the, that free DLC idea that would be a great way for Square Enix to get like some sort of tax write off thing because all the money from the DLC where you could take your top off would go to breast cancer awareness. I'm a genius. Yeah. Hire me. the same thing with um, the male cop. Oh, like Uncharted, he takes his pants off and then he's wearing something for butt cancer, anal something. What's in the butt? Prostate cancer. No, in, in, what's in the butt? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, they could... Um, because in Japan they have um, bras for men. That's stupid. Unless they're really the fat thing. men. No, it's it's one of those niche products. So niche, there's no point. Literally, it's like, I, what's I, I the point? I remember reading up about um, it when, I think, I'm not sure what... Um, I'm not sure what article I was um, the magazine I was reading at the time, but it, it was just like a, it was a game, I, I think it was a PlayStation magazine, where it was just a little snippet, and it's like, apparently some of the men that um, used them say that they, they, they felt supported and comfortable. <laughs> that sounds so weird. It's like they're not getting the support, like actual support they need in real life from other people. So they have to wear a bra for it. It's actually really sad. Yeah. But it's Japan. They have any everything that you could not need, they'll probably have for some reason. As part of like a weird fetish or something. Yeah, Japan. they have um like Hulk paws. Oh, they originated from Japan. I I I have um I heard that they started to, people in different countries started opening up hook powers. That's so weird. Was the rape scene in this game that was supposed to be a rape scene, or that wasn't actually a rape scene, but everyone thought it was, was it towards the beginning, when she first starts murdering people? I think so. That's so weird. Everyone's like, oh no, it's right, and no, it's just when she decided to start murdering people. That's when she became a psychopath. Do you want to be my psychopath? I stole eggs. I'm so bad. That's when she truly became evil, when she stole the eggs. Just crazy. Yeah. 
I like omelets. My grandma makes the best omelet. And she loves to make omelets because she knows that we like them and she likes to make food that we'll eat. <coughs> She's getting too old though now. Whoa, that was weird. What? What? Oh, crap! Get I hate started. that! Stupid quick time events. It's one, like, the, the quick time events in you Resident Evil 4 actually made a lot of sense. But with this, it's, like, really just obnoxious. Yeah, it's like, we can add one in. It's pretty much just a way to extend the gameplay. And it's also added, adding in a, a scripted event where it's like, oh, there's drama, there's tension, are you going to make it? They should start including an option where you just turn that stuff off if you just don't care about the game lasting as long as they want, want it to last. Because it's yeah, a but if they, did, if they did that, then um, say, say it took you uh, with all the scripted events and the cutscenes and everything, it took you about like eight hours to complete it. If they gave you the option to turn a lot of that off, it would probably only take, what, like three hours or less. Hey everybody, let's get dizzy. Whoa! Not blue smoke. That was will blue that, smoke. Um, will that... What those um, smoke bomb things that you want from that off Amazon look like? Oh, uh, th I think they're multicolored. This is the queen! The queen of the sun! Grab it! I was gonna say, if I ever make it to like, you know, 70 or 80 years old, I'd I, I play up being a little bit senile. Just, you know, like I say, Eggs or smoke bombs just go around and just throw them at people. <laughs> or have a mobility scooter and um, just, just 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 ride up next to I me, mean, you know, out of the side of somebody and then just shout, change of my nappy. <laughs> uh, I hope I hope that uh, you can get away with that because that would be hilarious. I would love to hear, like, reports old. about it on the news. When, when you're, like, old and you've got a thing, they think you're a little bit senile. They, 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 you, you get given them a bit of leeway. They're like, oh, they don't know any of that. Either. They're losing it. Yeah, we need to stop that, though. That We need to treat old people just like you treat anyone else. I, um... It's old people watched privilege. A pro I watched, um, a program... I think it's called like Horizon or something like that. Where they, um, you know, look into some scientific stuff mm -hmm. in, on the, on the, you know, on the number, well, should I say a, a, a variety of subjects. Mm -hmm. And one of them was um, age and aging. And they took a group of um, old age pension, you know, pension and pensioners mm -hmm. uh, who were male, and then um, they had this like house, and when they got there, you know, they looked around and think, and the woman who's doing this um, test, you know, who's doing this um, study, said. Okay, um, you could, you can um, take your belongings in however you feel like taking your belongings into the house. You can leave the suitcase here and take it in one item at a time, or you can try and haul it up the steps. But we're not going to help you. And um, I 
I think it was all for a two week period where they had to do everything themselves. Mm-hmm. And after a two week period, the um, they they felt younger and they were judged to look younger by, you know, and the members of the public. And um, one of the old age pensioners decided he didn't need to, his walking stick. And, uh, I mean, basically, when, when they were given... Um, the opportunity to... Look after them, they look after themselves and they were not treated as capable and all that. I mean, they, they, they had a better improved standard of life. That's really But there's a crazy man! And I just got hit in the head with a rock. I identify as Laura Croft. I am a Laura Croftkin. I think I'm Laura Croft. I'm a fancy lady who likes to dress in tight clothes. Laura Croft, Laura Croft, Laura, 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 Laura Croft is not Australian. I know, I was just doing whatever voice I could think of. Oi, governor, I'm Laura Croft and I'm gonna get ya after I get my spoon in your pudding. But see, I, I have no room to talk because I can't do any accents at all. Can't even do it in an American accent? No. Try it. Just try it. I'm not going to try it because I know I can't. <laughs> uh, quick I'll, time I'll, gimmick time. I was going to say, I'll try and it'll probably be a Jamaican accent. Wait, you what? I'll, I'll probably attempt to do an er, American accent and it will I end up with some, some like a Jamaican accent or something. Do it, do it. I want to hear it. No. I can't do accents. Part of it is using certain words, and then people, it, it, when you're really bad at it, if you just cert- use certain words, people will recognize what you're trying to do. I am. Um, That's why I always say governor when I'm trying to do a, a British accent. <laughs> it's just a bunch of dead bodies? What yeah, the they, fuck? there was one hell of a party there. <laughs> uh oh. At least it's not as um, bad as when the game started out. What the fuck is that? Is that a monster? You mean. No, it's just pounds of dead bodies. No, this is like this big thing with this. It's like. The big whacking stick. No, I want to go back. Let's go back, Laura. Come on, let's go back and look. You say Laura? Yeah. Oh, fuck! There, I'm there. Wait for her. Oh, yeah, there is a giant monster. I forgot about them. Is that a supernatural monster? Yeah, I'm not sure if it's a monster or if it's just a really, really large person. (laughs) It sounds like a monster. Yeah, I think it's a supernatural being. That was one of the things I loved about the original Tomb Raiders was they, they never shied away from being kooky and weird. At least the the ones... That, that, like, last trilogy they did before the reboot. Well, that was actually well, in, a reboot. In the original Tomb Raiders on, in, in, from the 90s, um, oh, that call made, um, in number four, she had to imprison an Egyptian god because she couldn't obviously kill the god. So the only way she could do it is isn't it? What's that? Hell? Wait, what? Silent Hill. What the about Silent Hill? The, the, the guy with the giant arm. Oh, yeah. 
they probably saw Silent Hill, you know, Pyramid Head and Giant Mike. Or, or they could have seen um, the the Resident Evil movie where they were they ended up in a prison because they they used something like that that was also mask. like something in the games. It was just yeah, a giant zombie with a Hill. big sword. Yeah, it's a giant, giant zombie with like an axe. So, I mean, yeah, axe Pyramid Head, axe. that's different. There's a whole different vibe to it. He likes to rape dolls or something. Mannequins. Mannequin! Really? That's how you fire a shotgun? I had no idea. Should I go down there? I'm going down. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. I jumped down there. That's amazing. I can't believe it. This place is gross. What the fuck is wrong with these people? Some people have weird, um, decor. No, it's just fetish. After people have sex, they like to kill themselves. And then we just dress the place up in them. That's Buddha. That's Those boobs. That's a boob Buddha. Open up the screen. Yamatai! Are people saying anything in the chat that I should be hearing about? Um, no, the last chat message was um, from Fireproof Troll. Oh, okay. Or Troll, and it's a weird problem. Weird, well, you know, with the egg thing. Yeah, it's they're like pigeon eggs. Probably pigeon eggs. There's still five people watching. What's wrong with these people? Let's talk about something offensive. Um. I can't think of anything offensive. No. <laughs> Let's talk about how. Oh, somebody tweeted using the one million uh, gamer strong hashtag oh, thing. Yeah. They tweeted and they're like, "We have seven thousand signatures already." <laughs> they should drop that hashtag. It's stupid. Yeah. One million gamers, but we've got seven thousand. Just another nine hundred. And and then they included the GamerGate hashtag. <laughs> like, why does it need to? Why do you need to say one million gamers? It, it, just say a bunch of them. Just say a bunch of gamers strong. <laughs> but when you do that, it's like, it's like if you don't succeed, you're just gonna look really stupid. Is it's that what you million, want? One million gamers. Just nine hundred and ninety-three thousand left to go. <laughs> Like, if you're fine with me making fun of it, okay, I don't really care. But when people get mad about me making fun of it, it's like, I'm going to harp on it forever. Yeah, it's one of those, it's one of those things when, I mean, when you know it, you've uh, pressed someone's button. It's like, yeah. I'm just going to see how long I can press this before. Like, I understand why my brother used to get me so mad that I would just, like, have a meltdown? Because, well, I don't understand, but I understand why he did it. I don't understand him doing that. But, um, he would do that to get me so mad that I'd have a meltdown because, meltdown because he thought it was funny. It's, and, like, just teasing somebody until they just get really upset, like, they, I can understand that idea, but when you're doing it to a family member like that, it's just bizarre. But, um... Yeah, so... Well, me, I don't me, know. me, me, and the brothers like to, you know, tease each other. Well, there, it's different. It's like, with, what my brother would do was pretty much bullying. Like, that's how... Like, apparently a lot of autistic kids growing up, the people that bully them the most are their siblings. So, yeah. Eventually my brother realized how stupid that was. Because it would just get me so mad that it was like, 
kind of just ruined him being around. And this was like maybe about five years ago when he would do this. Right? Like he, he always did it, but he would still do this when we were both adults, basically. Um, and he did, and eventually he just realized, oh, okay, I'm being a shithead, and he's stopped doing that. But I can understand like the the whole idea behind getting someone so upset because it's funny. But I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, when William Gamer Strong, ah, <laughs> I'm so bad. If it had like um, say like six hundred thousand, um, and it was increasing, you know, yeah, sl slowly, then you could be like, well, okay, it's, I mean, you could eventually get behind it, but seven thousand. Yeah, it's it's the same problem that um, crap. Am I gonna fall? Did I miss out on a? Th okay, it's the same problem that the whole that the one million moms hash the, I don't know if it was really hashtag but the one million moms group who like they were they were kind of they're pretty homophobic it's like it's not to the degree where it's like they were being like evil they were just stupid about it they're like no we don't want gay stuff and they would also get into other things too but yeah the problem with that was they there was no evidence that there was one million one million moms that were involved with it and it's the same problem with this. It's just like trying to seem like you're more important than you really are or more significant, which it's, it's, that just is a bad way to start. It would be like if Gamergate started that way, the joke would be that Gamergate's stupid because there's only a small amount of people. There, there, there's no way there are a million people. And with Gamergate, there's no way that there's a million people in Gamergate in the first place. Yeah. I was gonna say, um, I, 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 I don't think there would be like um, a million people probably um, included. You know, um, that's probably support game gate, but actually not come out publicly with it. Well, even then, it's just like there's a there's probably a million people who just like. There's less than a million people who even really care about it because they have more important things to care about. Because yeah. at the end of the day, like, oh, unethical journalism in the video game industry, that's less important than, oh, I need a job, I need my family not to die. Yeah, well, maybe think. not die, but, like, end up living in a poorhouse. So, basically, the, the, the whole... Let's care about uh, video game journalism. It's That's pretty funny. much a hobby for yeah. everyone in gamer game. And there's nothing wrong with that, saying it's a hobby, because hobbies are great. Um, but just at the end of the day, it's like, well, it's just a hobby. Some hobbies that aren't great, like serial killing. <laughs> That's not a hobby! That's like a lifetime a thing. <laughs> Some people, it's a hobby. They just take it very seriously. <laughs> Serial killing is just a hobby. But people take it too seriously sometimes. And that's when it just kind of starts hurting other people. Yeah. Serial killing. Yay. I want serial to serial kill all of you. hobby for the person with just too much time on their hands. Yeah, or too much psychopathy on their hands. That's crazy. Is that Jesus? It is. Black Jesus. Black. Um, the there's this one director, Scott Derrickson, he's doing Doctor Strange. Uh, he did this other movie that um, was based off this book that... The movie had nothing to do with the book. Anyways, when he was... It, the uh, the movie was called... Um, what's it called? Beware of the Night or something. Uh-oh. I need to charge this. I need to get a new controller. Um, it was called, like, Beware of the Night. And 
while he was doing like scouting for the film, he came to this one. I think it was in New York, and he, or maybe it was, I think it was New York. He came to this one black theater, uh, black theater, black uh, church, I guess, and they had this really black-looking Jesus, like painting, and he tweeted about it, and it's just like, yay! Um, somebody called Bobby R- Ram with two M's on the end asks for a shout out. And Fireproof Troll um, says, Million Gamer Walking Simulator. <laughs> uh, um, uh, Bobby Ram Autogies is giving you a shout out. <laughs> hey, Bobby Ram, that's time for you to shine. I don't know who Bobby Ram is. But, that's fine. <gasps> I rang a bell! I rang a bell! Do I have to ring it again? Some gay yes. shit. <laughs> I love saying gay shit. Like, this is gay shit. I just love saying that. Why is it so funny? It's because it's gay shit. <laughs> I love it. It's amazing. So what am I supposed to be doing? I rang it three times. That's usually the magic number. Do I have to keep ringing it until it breaks? I think you have to ring it until it um, slams into something. I think that... Oh, you have to slam into the sides. Okay. Oops. I thought I was just supposed to ring the bell. Ring the taco bell. I want Taco Bell. Oh, pull it right, get your old power, fire it into it, pull it all the way back. So you aim at the pillars. Bang! Bro, now I'm not sure. What? Am I supposed to close these or Oh, okay. Oops. I shouldn't have opened it. That was stupid. Now you open it to um, you pull it in the direction where you want to hit, hit one of those pillars. Ooh! Oh, it's gonna fall! No, don't break! You're gonna break! That's not good for you to do. My dog, uh, my mom wants to buy stuffed animals for my dog. Just so he can tear him up when he's stressed. I'm like, Mom, we can't keep get, wasting money. You should get him um, one of those cons. Uh, we have one, but he doesn't like it. I, there's, we had peanut butter in it, and we froze it, and then gave it to him. And he's like, no! He licked it a little bit, he's like, no, I don't want to. This place is just going to fall apart. Oh my gosh, it's, what's happening? Who's shooting at me? See that? Do you see those um, pillars? Mm-hmm. The wooden pillars that are like uh, broken. Oh. Shit. Aim, aim that that um, bell ringer thing at it when you hit the arrow throw. Okay. Now this is feeling like Resident Evil. Oh. I, I don't know how. Maybe uh, close one. So I broke both one, both sides. Do I need to do it again, or just, I think, yeah. Just once more, and then it should hit the bell, and then boom! Whee! Oops. I gotta do the other side, or oh, keep doing it until that whole thing falls. No, I have to open both of them like I was doing before. Look. Let go. Jeez, Where is all this wind like coming from? I don't understand. This game is so weird. Where am I? Am I? I'm in China, the China Sea, I guess. 
Whee! The Japanese say. Whatever. They're on an island. China owns it all. It's all China's. It's all Asian anyway. No, China owns all of Asia. The Philippines is secretly China. It isn't really, is it? <laughs> That's what China thinks. They're trying to claim America, the Philippines. It's a little bit like how America thinks um, the planet's America. <laughs> no, that would be England at one point. Ling England thought everything belonged to them. Well, England had... Um, we had we, 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 England had the world's largest empire. Yeah. Point. Bunch of bastards. I think... I think there's only, I remember reading somewhere that there's only 11 countries on the planet that England did not invade. <laughs> They're pretty bad. And I think um, England invaded um, France the most. The US, like, people like to think that, or like to pretend like the US thinks everything belongs to them. But it's not that, it's that people make the U.S. feel like they have to take care of everything because everyone else is shit. <laughs> Jingoism. That's my name now. Some, some of the th um, things that I've um, read about what um, like the British government want to do, like some of the laws and stuff they want to put in place, it's like... I don't want to move to America now. <laughs> yeah, everyone wants to come to the U.S. And sorry, but you can't come unless there's a reason for you to be here that you'll benefit the <laughs> the country. At least or that's how it should be. Or, or if you actually are able to buy your way into it. Yeah, or the, you're able to just go through the legal immigration process. Or, I don't know. It is it's so annoying, this, all this immigration talk, where it's like, we belong in the country we want to go to. Nope. Nope, you belong no. wherever you live right now. You belong in the country that you um, were born and grew up in. Yeah. Unless you have, like, a legit, like, the country that you want to live in wants you there. Yeah, I mean, if you qualified, I think I've, um... Watch the video on YouTube, or, or if you could get a job in the U.S., I, you you would have a right to be here, obviously. Um, yeah, I think I read um, that the U.S. has um, something like a, a genius visa, where if you're like a proven genius, like um, they'll just pretty much let you walk through. That's you know, so like weird. Valley. I've never heard that before. And apparently, like half half of the Silicon Valley population. Is um, foreign born, or they, they weren't, they're not American. Well, that doesn't no, surprise me. But also, a lot of those people are working, so no matter what, they yeah. they well, they're, have they're, a job. They're working on the technology, pretty much the most important thing at the moment in the forest species. I need to go to the bathroom. Um, please entertain everyone with a song. That's it. I can't sing. You don't have to sing. You just like, like say the lyrics as if you're reading them from something. <laughs> oh no, I don't want uh, oh. I'm back, baby. <sighs> 
now that I, I peed, I need to drink some water. Too much inflammation. Oh, I just, um, I, I got um, an idea for lyrics so I could just talk, you know, talk, sing, as it were, <laughs> from Fire Proof Troll. He went on to his, you know, in the um, Town Gang. And I, I thought of this, their song, Fox Trot. Uniform, Charlie and Kilo. <laughs> Have you ever heard anyone read like something like a, I like big butts as if they were reading like, it's like, I like big butts and I cannot lie, you other brothers can't deny. It's it walks in. It's so bizarre. <laughs> we don't eat any waste. I wish I could shoot a rope out of this. I don't want to have to keep switching. It should automatically switch when it knows that you need to do this. Oh, it wasn't close enough. I also, I also thought of um, the Divinal song. You know, um, what's it called now? I don't know. Oh, I was kind of doing what we were talking about with uh, my mom the other day where I was... There was the Emotion Heap song, um, Just For Now, which is actually a Christmas song, but no one really realized that, or not a lot of people realized that. Um, which song was that? Uh, just For Now. It's like, it starts out, Just for now, just for now, it's that time of year, leave all your hopelessnesses aside. And there's this one part where it's like, quit kicking me under the table. Oh, won't you shut up about it and get along, please? That one. It's called Just For Now. I've never heard it before. Do you, have you ever listened to Emotion Heat before? Emotion Heat. Yeah. No, I don't even know who I used are. to really like her a lot. Emotion Heat. Emotion Heat. Heat, oh, like a heap heat. of trash. Like emails. Yeah, it it's uh she was part of the group Fru Fru, which was just her and a music uh, oh, guy. Oh, I, I know the Fru Fru because I know this um this one song that I really really like. Yeah, they they had she has had songs that became really popular. They were on, I think, uh, the OC helped make some of her songs really popular. The the sort of teen drama. The or no, it was on Fox. It wasn't really teen drama. Anyways. But yeah, her, her, you've probably heard one of her songs before. One of them is like, um, Where are we? What the hell? Do you recognize I that? I think I've heard um, one of her songs. But I've heard the Fru Fru. Well, I just count Fru Fru as part of her songs. Because Fru Fru is literally just her and this one music uh, producer guy who does like the... Yeah, I think the stuff. guy like him... Produced like the instrumental stuff, didn't he? Yeah, well, he he does he he worked with her before and her other things, but they were doing this collaboration where it was really him being more than just doing what he normally would do. He was actually like involved more heavily in the composition and stuff. Her latest album was composed of like sounds that her fans sent her. Like, they would record sounds and send them to her, and then she'd use it to make music. I wonder what type of sounds that some of her fans actually sent her. Like, some of the kind like of... Like, fart noises? That would be funny. Oh. oh, this is a nice sound, and this is somebody farting right into a microphone. And she never questions <laughs> it. Like, I don't want to know, but it's nice. I never bought that album, though. I... Kind of had gotten, uh, moved on away from her by that time that her latest album came out. It was a really interesting concept for an album, though. I know the um, instrument that, um, you know, the supposed instrument that they used to make um, a lot of the music for this um, two minute game that you're playing, um, they. Was it and they 
commissioned like um, somebody to make this kind of like sculpture, uh, sculpture which could be played as an instrument and the sounds that could make it look weird as hell and it made some bizarre sounds. And That's weird. Apparently they used that. They used that to make all the music in the in this game. That kind of stupid. Why don't they just use regular it's instruments? It, it's one of those things that they could it, it, like a marketing type of thing, like gimmick that they can be like, well, we made a sculpture to make the music in this game. Yeah, that's really stupid. Basically something the hipsters will just eat up. Oh, hipsters are the worst! Yeah. I, 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 um... I think I read an article that said, um... Saying... Neo-Nazis, you know, in Germany. Mm -hmm. I, I've clicked on that. Um... I mean, I've started... Not all of them, but slowly they've started... Um... What is it? Dressing like the hipsters and, you know, like, um whole lifestyle and everything. Neo-Nazis are starting because to dress like them? It, in Germany, yeah, because, the, because it, it's seen you know, as like, so pleasant and approachable and, you know... That's hilarious. And you, you're not afraid. I mean, it's not something like you really saw them on the street, you'd be afraid. And they, 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 some of them have figured out that um, to be a lot more accepted by people just basically become hipsters. But, you know, you want an Aryan race. Don't ask me it's what just, I'm doing. You're trying to um, check for j just j jiggle physics. No, just look how he died. He just, like, falls back and his, like, legs just sort of break. He's, he's doing, um, like, dance. He's a choreographer. It's like where you slide. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it looks like. But it's just like, it's, that's happened before, too. I've, I've killed a guy and he landed exactly like that. It's like, this doesn't seem very next-gen. In the crotch. Oh, yeah, you're kind of delayed from seeing what I'm seeing. That's terrible. Oh, oh. Yeah. Wee. <laughs> I like to break things if you can break them. Oh, I remember the um, sit watching, not watching it. You know, um, Witcher when you played it and it was all. I mean, everyone was really short. Um, oh, that was so weird. Little mini <laughs> roach. Oh yeah, Roach, that was so funny. Like, everything was like that, literally. Like, it was like the ground had suddenly shifted, or at least, like, what every, or all the, uh, everything in the game, the ground shifted had shifted. Up. And everyone stayed at the same place, so it became shorter. Yeah, it was so weird. But it was but amazing, and I loved like, it. Roach seemed so cute, though. Yeah, he did. It was so funny. And then there was cows that were like that too. And then when you like yeah. when I stripped him down and he was just like running, it was like some sort of monster, like Geralt, the weird naked monster man. They had this idea for a monster where it like has a human body, but it has like some sort of lupine face. But the the a face, face, a lupine like a dog. Lupine is like the the kind of a, a it's like a description of a of a dog like feline and lupine. Feline is for cats. Lupine is for dogs. I just thought the the dog thing would be um canine. Well, lupine I guess is more. Yeah, I guess that's right. But uh, I think it's is it more like American? more wolf maybe. That's maybe that's what it is. Yeah, that's probably what it is. I guess I'm stupid, but I really did mean like a wolf. 
when I meant when I was saying what I was saying. But it would oh, be like yeah. it would be like an animal, or it would be like a naked a naked human body, but it would have like a sort of like a wolf type face that blended into the naked human body. Um, but the face was on the back of the. It was like a it was like a human body, but it had instead of like a head that was normal, it was like a wolf type head coming out of the back of the head. So it was facing you. So there was a butt, basically, on the uh, in the front. But you didn't realize that. Um, also, when it was like it could have the head go the other way too. But like, like if you it, sort of like it, or actually flip like over. So it could like, it would look like you. It couldn't see you if you came up from behind it, behind in quotes. Um, over here besides this. Oh, hey, so uh, Anyway, so you come up behind it, and you think like, oh, it can't see me, and then it like tr flips the head over and sees you, and then starts running at you like backwards, like a human body running backwards. And I always thought that sound that just that idea just seems so creepy. What do you think? I can't see why it'd be creepy. But Wait, did I don't know. you say you can't see why it would be creepy? No, I can't really see why it would be creepy, but then again, I can't really picture it. So, well, just like try to picture like a naked human body running backwards, especially in like a dark hallway. A normal human body, because I'm, uh, I'm picturing like a really, like a four to five hundred pound. Just like a normal body athletic body. Head of the body. Bye. Like the, the, the idea of like a, of the, the legs that are supposed to go forwards, but going backwards. Like a moonwalk. Sort of, but running. <laughs> a moon run. Yeah. Like, that idea has always just really creeped me out. I can't get past the, um, Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin. <laughs> That's so I'm weird. Thinking of, I'm, I'm thinking of Peter Griffin running backwards with, like, a wolf's head. Like and it wouldn't necessarily, like, the, the monster, the, or whatever, because I had this idea for, like, a science fiction. That would be in the vein of Alien, and maybe a few other things, like maybe The Thing. But uh, it would, it would, it would be a monster that was sort of like that. But it wouldn't, it would be sort of, like it wouldn't just look like somebody put a dog's head on a body. The body would be made to look sort of human, but like if you really got a close look at it, it's clearly not human. But just the first time you would see it in the, in the movie would be... So like from a di what? From afar, it would, from afar it would look... Yeah, it would look very sort of humanish, and so you see, like, basically a character is walking down a hallway in the dark with like a light or something, and then they see like a naked human body, like looking away, like not facing them, and they're looking at, it, and then suddenly it just starts running at them backwards. It would be sort of body horror type stuff, where the bodies aren't supposed to do that. Yeah, I can, I can, I can. See, see, um, I just kind of like pictured myself like kind of like in a hunt, uh, uh, like a haunted, like you know, an abandoned asylum or haunted mansion type of thing, and then just seeing that, like, you know, kind of in a dark corridor oh. and thinking, like, holy shit, what the fuck, and then start running. Yeah, and then another thing it could do with, because, like, the way the human body works, but, like, with the legs, um, it could also end up. Like, the arms could end up coming around the body and forming, like, legs so that it could run around on its back. And back, like in quotes, because it's not actually its back. Yeah, sort of like that. It would it would just be really bizarre and creepy. Like, that, I've just always thought that would be so creepy. And I never really got around to writing the screenplay for it, but I was doing, like, preliminary sort of... Uh, just sort of uh, world-building ideas and I had like the, the the whole the plot sort of planned out a little bit 
um, roughly, but I just never got around to doing it because I kept wanting to do it, like work on it with my brother, and he's like, no! And I'm like, shut up! And... Oh, poor little boy. Well, that didn't work. What the hell? He's, he's, you see all those, like, white, like, um, streaks on the walls? Uh -huh. Like, you climb up. But that's pretty much annoying in Tomb Raider um, Legend, where all the ledges were very visible where you had to go. But the, how is that thing there that's so small? Do I have to cut it? It's like... How, what's the point of this existing? Oh, I think you have to get the other one and pull it the, the, the Oh, one swing it up, sir. Okay. Yeah, uh, that was stupid. I'm Dumbo! Watch me fly! Wee! Damn it. Didn't do it right. I, um,. I remember yep. one sum, summer, um, this one night that I, had, I was sleeping, you know, before school, uh -huh. it was in high school, and it was so hot that I couldn't really sleep. But I remember looking um, at the floor of the bedroom, and my brother was in his bed, I was in my bed, but I saw um, it was all black, and an outline of a body on the floor. And it's like, who the hell is that? What did it turn out to be? Was it just your imagination? I don't know, because I thought I'll just ignore it and go to sleep. I'm not going to even chance, <laughs> like, you know, trying to get that thing go, whatever it is. Hopefully it doesn't murder us. No, I, 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 I mean, because I don't know why, but in, like, in, I think it would be probably most likely be like sleep, but in, in my head it was like, I don't want to try and see you know, we'll wake her up to see, see if it is my brother or not. Um, you know, from another me, from his other. Because we, um, I think it was three of us that were living in first parents at the time. Mm -hmm. So it could have been another brother who just walked in the net and slept at the phone, you know, into the bathroom or something. But um, in the back of my head, it was like, I don't want to chance it just in case it's some kind of weird demon and it kills me <laughs> <laughs> well it was it was obviously just probably some sort of sleep paralysis thing or something where it's not necessarily you you could move when you saw it right yeah i could i could move there was no uh, so it was probably just sort of like a thing like that's happened to me before i i had a dr i not a dream but i woke up and then i thought i saw like a body like a sort of a ghost shape thing just like float through my room but, yeah. yeah, it wasn't, as far as I know, that was most likely just my brain that, like, not um, completely awake yet. Yeah, I mean, I put it down to um, the lack of sleep because, it, I mean, it was, it was so close and hot that, um, when I went to school, that. Um, on that day, I was um, having trouble staying awake because I was so tired. <laughs> yeah, that is creepy, though. That's very spooky. But yeah, it's like, yeah, I'm just gonna leave. I'm not gonna chance it being a deep. And... Swipes off my head. <laughs> That's time for it to do that. Oops. Why didn't she go through that one? I don't know. Oh, I've been... Th okay, this is a area that I've been to. Yeah. Whee! Whee! Now I can open those things. Because I got the power of friendship. My little pony, my little pony. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that. Why is there rope there then? Uh, 
anyways, back to My Little Pony. My Little Pony, My Little Pony. Ah, uh, My Little Pony. I don't remember the rest of the lyrics. Do you know a song called, um, Little Pony? Body, um, a band called The Vinyls, and the title of the song is called I Touch Myself. The title is called what? I Touch Myself. That's I, what the title is I called. think I actually know the song a little bit, because it doesn't go like, um, I think of you when I touch myself. I mean, I've got the lyrics up right now, it goes, I love myself, I want you to love me. When I feel down, I want you above me. I search myself. I want you to find me. I forget myself. I want you to remind me. And then it kicks into the chorus. I think. <laughs> because I don't want anybody else. When I think about you, I touch myself. Yeah, I, I always... Like, I'll randomly sing songs to myself for no reason. Um, and that's something I will randomly sing sometimes. Because I'm weird. Yeah. Oh, I, uh, um, just a minute. Uh, soy milk, yes, I see that you're here. I should have said something earlier, and you didn't obviously complain, but I felt like I should act like you complained, so that I... I anyways, hi, soy milk. You're a really bad host, Hata. I, well, if it was on the TV, it, it would be easier to <laughs> notice, but... And you're supposed to tell me when people say things. You're a terrible co-pilot. He responded to me. He didn't respond to you. Just mm. didn't say hello. Hello. Love me a long time. He goes, you're, you're a cool man. Um. I guess he meant you're a cool man. Well, I think that's something that, like, that's a, a joke that people say where they say man. There's this thing, like, airport, or crap gachi, whatever she is right now. She has, in referring to, like, black people saying stuff, she says kangs. And I don't understand... Kangs. Yeah, kangs. Like, kangaroo, but with an S and no roo. And I don't understand, like, what that means. If that's, like, some sort of thing. And then it with made me S think of... Go ahead. Um, kang with an S and no roo Yeah, it's just, like, kangs. Like, kings, but kangs. I'm not being helpful. <laughs> Kangaroo Paul. I don't know why why she does it, but I've never heard it before, and she's the only person who's ever said that. It's very strange. How the hell did that chicken just have thought, oh, what's happened to that other one? It's got something sticking out of it. I think I'll just stand here for a little bit longer. <laughs> I think okay. of you when I touch myself. Touch, touch, touch. Good touch, bad touch. Whee! The, the, she is so retarded that she cannot, like, just break those, or, like, cut the ropes of that stuff. It's, why is she so stupid? Tom Laura. Um. She's 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 British and Oh that explains it. Twenty twentieth century Brit, Brit. So I read an article that's recently, so dumb, uh, recently that um basically um in Britain white people are the dumbest basically in getting taught, you know, in reasons you know in of late. So if you're a white person you're internalizing probably, your probably, Stupidity. You, you, you're, you're probably stupid, more stupid than any other ethnicity in Britain. That, that's kids being taught. Oh yeah, that's actually true though, just from like research, where not necessarily that they're stupid, but that white kids, especially white boys, are really not getting an education like they need. Because nobody gives a shit. I remember being in um, high school when I um, I've always found the work very easy to do, and I I had to wait like five or ten minutes 
for everyone else to finish and I ask to have uh, more work to do and they were like, um, so now you've got to wait for everyone else to catch up. So I was doodling, you know, on, on paper and they'd be like, oh, um, you can't do that and it's like, You just well, have to stop existing. They say, like, you can't doodle while you wait. And I was like, well, I, I, I um. What can I do? Yeah, it's like, well, I, I'm bored. I, uh, want more work. And you say, I can't have more work, so I've got nothing else to do. Well, can I be it. spanked or something? That's how, but, that's how you respond. Can you punish me? Something. I'm so bored. I, um. I mean, the problem was, because I st- um, was waiting for everyone else to catch up and start doodling, they, um, everyone else then started not doing the work because it was like, well, if one person starts doing the work, why should I? It's like, well, I've already done it. I'm just waiting for everyone else. And at first, they were like, oh, okay, let's mark it to see if, you know, you've done it right and everything. It's like, yep, it's all right. That's like, that's my work. Gotta wait for everyone else to catch up. And it's like, that's so stupid. When uh, when you asked for more work, did you do it like this? Please, sir, may I have some more? And they're like, no. what did you say? And you're like, please, sir, may I have some more? And then you started a riot, just like Oliver Twist. Oliver Twist? More no. like Oliver Twit? It got to the point where I started asking for harder work, and they said... Well, if it's so easy, then you should have it done very quickly. And I fell for that for a, a, a short time and a, a, and um, fell for it a little bit longer than, you know, I, sh- I should have. But then, realising that I was, wasn't going to get harder work and it was just so easy, I, I, I could just wait until about like 10 or 15 minutes before the end of the class to do the work and I would just do nothing for the whole class. What kind of work was it? Are you talking about math or something else? Um, any class that I took. Oh, just everything. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to brag. Trying to brag on my stream. Sick. No, because, um, I think I wasn't put in the right. Uh, like you were ahead of everyone. I wasn't put in the right um, group in high school. I remember my first mum saying that the, uh, the only reason I was in the um, special needs is because the fact that I find it pretty much impossible to talk to people, and that was at the time. Oh wait, so you were in but special I, needs class? Um, yeah, but at the time, it was because, um, I, I mean, I couldn't talk to, like, anyone that I didn't know, like... You felt to uncomfortable with talking with people? Was, if it was, um, just, um, like, anyone in the class was, like, couldn't really talk to them, hardly spoke, and it wasn't until I was around, um, 20 years old when, um... I was in college when somebody, um, in an ex friend of mine, um, said, she said, Oh, come sit over here with us. And I was like, and, 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 and she goes, Fine, I'll come over to sit next to you. And then um, she brought me out, Michelle, me and you out, Michelle. And now I'm finding it easier to talk to people that I don't really know. Yeah, but talking to people you don't know is scary. I don't like it. In in high school, I hardly ever spoke. And when I was teased, you know, called names and everything, um, I took it a little bit too personal. And I, I, I was easily um, brought to tears. Mm-hmm. And that didn't help. Yeah. Kids are terrible. Kill all children. I, I used to um, think to myself when I felt really crap in school, I was like, I, I, I wish that this um, school burned down with everyone inside. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was feeling crap and also anger. 
iPad, I think. Yeah. So, that, those two combined. I, I kind of would think things like that, too, in school sometimes. One time I tried to, like, because I was out of missionary school, so it wasn't like, and it was in the Philippines, so it wasn't like we were in the U.S. or whatever, but this one time I was just so mad and depressed. I tried, <laughs> this is so stupid, but I tried to leave, like, um, a note saying that I was going to, like, it wasn't me, but that somebody was going to, wanting, was wanting to burn down the school, and I was hoping somebody would find it, and I left it in the bathroom, but no one ever did. I just wanted to freak the geek out. You should just put a note, leave, I mean, cut out, you know, of, um, newspaper cuttings <laughs> saying, I've planted a bomb. About <laughs> 12, 12, 12 p.m. or whatever. Go go a specific time, but, like, find it before this or bye bye school. <laughs> You're so evil. Well, I, I, I sometimes have a little bit of a twisted mind. Yeah. Bingo, bingo! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Die! Oh, I'm way behind in the stream because it keeps, fr it keeps freezing whenever I am. Um... You know, it keeps buffering, should I say, whenever um, I'm trying to keep, you know, keep up with the chat. Um, the soya milk um, also types, agreed, what people are fucked up, lol, hashtag, why I'm an 8th eighth, eighth grade dropout and mine too. All said weirdly. Oh, are those going to blow up? <gasps> oh, those are just water. Why did the water blow up? I guess it was boiling. Yeah, high school for a lot of people was terrible. And for the people that high school wasn't necessarily terrible for, they'll end up going on to do nothing with their lives. And what I mean by that is the popular kids. The popular kids will never do anything really worthwhile and if they do it's because they learned a lesson that being an asshole is stupid and they shouldn't do that <laughs> I, 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 mean, I, I I remember um, thinking um, shortly before leaving high school that um, thinking like yeah you, you all you you know about my fellow classmates all you all you are going to be stuck in this town and I'll be let, I'll leave this town and I'll come when if it ever if there was a, ever a reunion, I'd come back and show you all how great my life is and just <laughs> rub it in your face. And um, I think it was around when I was around twenty or twenty one, I um, found out that basically pretty much everyone in my class became um, like um drug addict? <laughs> yeah, on the doll. <laughs> or on Beth, I should say. So it's like, well, at least my life is far better than theirs so far. Do you remember, this has nothing to do with what you're saying, well, it kind of does maybe, but do you remember when there were those riots in uh, London? And it was all these, like, young kids stealing, like, alcohol and all sorts of weird stuff. Do you remember that? Um, a couple of years ago. Yeah. It was a, I mean, some um, guy got uh, shot and... It was a black yeah, guy, yeah, who, I think, who got killed by the police and there was some yeah. inky stuff going on or something. Um, yeah, um, it, it, there was like a peaceful like kind of um, march or protest or whatnot and some people uh, kind of got a little bit... Um, pissed or annoyed or something sparked some of them to go off and riot. Yeah, basically, it, it doesn't really matter exactly why it started. The fact was that it was a riot and it was really bizarre with the kind of stuff that was happening. Like, I remember yeah, reading about it on Kotaku, oddly. 
And they were, like, showing this stuff about how there's this one person who stole somebody's, like, Game Boy or something. Or not a Game Boy. It was, like, a, a Nintendo DS. And all this weird stuff. And it was all these young, white, kid, like, white young men who were just running around stealing this stuff. And because of how London is, like, 1984 with all the their cameras, they were catching all these kids on, on uh, TV. And that was just so bizarre, like, realizing how screwed up England is in terms of, like, young men and how how they're turning out there. And the last time I checked, there might, there might be uh, even more to fewer people now, but last time I checked, apparently there was uh, one CCTV camera for every 14 people in Britain. Weren't they, like... Wasn't there something about how they were asking people to put them in their homes, too? I don't know. I'm not sure if that was true or not. I think it was, like, a proposed thing, where they were, like, saying, Hey, what the fuck? Okay. Maybe on, on, the, hou- on the houses. Like. Yeah, or, like, on their front doors or something. It was a way to, like, be able to catch people easier. I don't know. It was so weird, though. Yeah... It's, I think they actually, like, the government was like, hey, that book 1984 is popular. Let's use some of their things. Oops. I, I, oh, I, my. I, I, I like some of the um, tweets where, you know, when, when, when some people um, just put um, a photo, ooh, a, a photo of um, the book, and it goes, this is not meant to be a guide. Yeah. Damn it, I died again! Yeah, I just saw her get impaled. Let's just keep watching her get impaled. It's fun! Oh. Well, if you, if, 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 um, Whoa. if it's recorded... If what? You, if, you, if, you re- if you record some of the gameplay, uh-huh. you, 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 you may be able to do a 10-hour version of her just getting impaled. <laughs> I know, it's just like a 10 hour version of her impaled and struggling. And it's like just like a couple seconds of the footage. And, and then there's like crazy music playing, like a Benny Hill music. <laughs> That'd be so bad. That's bad. No. Oh, fuck. I can't. I don't. I can't see what's happening, so I don't know what to avoid. This is a way to I mean, artificially extend gameplay. You know, you know, if it was um, I, I sometimes like you know when you like you get it sounds like you get a little bit frustrated. Oh, that was painful. <laughs> I, I've I've slowed I, I've I've put the um, speed of the stream and slowed it down a little bit so it would stop buffering, and I just saw um, Lara get um, impaled slowly. <laughs> um, oh shit! Yeah. Uh oh, Jurassic it, Park: Last World. When it oh. um, sounds like you get a little bit frustrated of dying, like getting impaled or whatnot, I kind of want to just say, "Passes the controller." I'll I'll do this part. <laughs> You're supposed to be able to do that with the PS4, where somebody can. I just press the button like I'm that. supposed to. That somebody can take over the game for you. Whee! That's just like Jurassic Park Lost World. That scene in Jurassic Park Lost World where... The, the, on the bus. Yeah, well, it wasn't a bus. It was like a caravan oh, or something. Yeah. Um, and it was a truck type of thing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was basically the, like a, the kind of thing where you... It was a really fancy version of the kind of thing that you go camping with if you don't want to be in a tent. I can't remember what those are called. RV? Anyways, yeah, things like an RV. That okay. scene, no matter what I think about Steven Spielberg, because I find him annoying and obnoxious, that scene was excellently directed because every time I see it, I freak out. I'm like, no! Oh my gosh! That's terrifying. I, I, I love that scene where, where it's like, she's like, oh shit, I'm like, oh crap that thing, and as she's slowly moving the cracks 
for like going all over the gla glass <sighs> and oh, just and, and all, 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 all. you're making me just visualize it and it's oh it just feels so yucky Ugh. and 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 um, as she's like moving and you can see the cracks also go stop from where fingers are stop torturing me. Like, I was like, shit, 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 this is gonna break, she's gonna die, she's gonna fall. That was a really well directed yes. scene. Yeah. But and, and other I, scenes yeah. in that movie were terrible and stupid. And I loved when the, the whole thing went over and they're still on the rope and oh, the no. sword it Ugh. fall down. And they're just hanging on the. <laughs> That's so impossible though. That they wouldn't have hit yeah, something. Yeah, I mean, they probably would have went down with it, but... But th there's that scene, and then there's the scene where um, his black stepdaughter or daughter or whatever uses Olympics to defeat the oh, Velociraptors. Yeah. Ugh, Gymnastics. so dumb. Well, Olympics, I don't care. I don't want to sound smart. I don't want to use the right word. Jump out there! Um, no, come on, do it. Everyone knows that um, black girls doing gymnastics are the natural predator of velociraptors. <laughs> no, but it's just—it doesn't make any sense. I don't. There wasn't a kid in the actual novel that the movie was barely based off of. So he's just like, I'm just gonna put this girl in the movie because there needs to be a kid to do gymnastics. But um, yeah, that and then the very the end the the second ending, where the T Rex runs around in Los Angeles, and there's these like Japanese guys running away, and they're like, "I came to America to get away from this sort of thing," because it's like Godzilla. That that whole scene was so stupid. I I, I liked um it when the when the T Rex was basically in the city as it were, the T Rex in the sea. Oh, I can lie better full of sex and the scene. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I like that whole, um, T-Rex in the city and it just... causing shit. Well, that whole scene was so stupid. Because... Like, I can understand you enjoying it because it's, it's kind of fun and stuff, but... It makes no sense. I don't... I've never been able to figure out how the guy that they could have put they could have sealed the T-Rex in the shipping thing on the boat and how it would have gone. after the person died while they were in a little room where they did that where they turned it off and then they got their arm bit off how that made any sense and then how nobody noticed until it came all the way to the to the dock and then decided to continue on land. Yeah, it just, it makes no sense that no one figured out, hey, there's this boat and no one's responding. And there's also a dinosaur on board, so let's not actually monitor its progress. Yeah. It was I, so if, contrived. If, uh, you'd think that um, if they were going to bring the dinosaur back to mainland, as it were, that they um, would have had a military on standby just in case something went well, they didn't tell anybody, shit. though. So that's why there was no military involved. But the fact that the company wasn't actually monitoring the... Oh, shit. Monitoring the progress of their their dinosaur. It's like, what are these people, retarded? Yes, they are. The whole... The, this was so stupid. The false ending... And then, oh yeah, really, there's there's a whole nother scene. And they're going to be building a park on the mainland. I, I, I did like um, the, the um, end when the baby T-Rex was just, like up and they killed that guy. I was like, yes, you killed that fucker. Oh, I could have shot. But yeah, some, some um, scenes like... You know, stupider scenes. Kind of like them because they're just stupid. Scenes. Yeah, you like them because they're stupid, not because they're good. Yeah, I like all, all the Resident Evil movies for what they are. 
I love them because they're so fun. I don't necessarily think they're stupid because there actually is some really good, like, action scenes in them. Yeah, but, um, I, have you noticed that, um, they, they, um, reuse a lot of the same um, stuff from the previous movies, like the slow-mo of the bullets and... Well, that's, that's not really reusing it because that's been in stuff before and it's just a thing. It's a, it's a technique to use in film. I'm not sure they I think they might have had it in the first Resident Evil one. They had it in the second one. They had it in the third and yeah. fourth. I mean, it, 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 there's, there's, there's just parts when I'm watching it. It's like, oh, that was, that was in the Apocalypse or the first one. Mm -hmm. And it's just... I never noticed I mean, anything like that being annoying for me, but... Oh, it's not annoying. I, 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 I like him. Um, oh, well, what I mean by annoying is that I'd notice it and feel like they were reusing something. Unless it was like a it an homage or whatever, homage. Yeah, I was gonna say it doesn't, it doesn't seem it doesn't feel like they're reusing it. Well, it was I mean, partly it was because the, the first one came out around the time that the Matrix came out, and everyone was using slow mo. Yeah. I I really just love those movies because they're so entertaining. You don't really have to yeah. think too much. You can just enjoy them. And they're very much in the vein of the games in that they're just silly fun. Like, the games, the stories aren't really... The, like, the originally, Romero was going to adapt, do, like, a straight adaption of the game. And people were like, oh, it's going to be so good. I'm like, really? Because the game is stupid. Like, in terms of the story, it's very stupid. It makes no sense. Very Japanese. Yeah, very Japanese. Well... Honestly, it's not even really Japanese. It's very um, old B movie. I was gonna say, um, Japanese have a um, when they, they had a bit of quirk to the stories. Well, Resident Evil is one of those games that it honestly doesn't actually feel that much, that Japanese to me. It unless you think that Japanese stuff is just silly, weird B plots then okay, but that's also something that's been in American films for a long time. Because there's, a, like, in, okay, in Resident Evil, there's a giant snake for some reason. There's giant spiders. Those are staples of, like, American uh, creature features. Um, there's a giant shark. Well, the sharks aren't giant. They're just sharks. They're giant. No, they're not. They're okay, giants. fine. I, okay, they're giant. They're giant sharks. There you go. And then there's giant zombies. <laughs> but the, yeah, the, that game was I was never really. This is very Japanese. Because like like, can you think of one thing in it where it feels distinctly Japanese? The character designs. I don't think the, so. Of the main characters. I I don't think so because they look very American. They have a little bit of anime-ish. Well, yeah, but that's just the art style. Like, that, I don't... Besides that, though, then. Like, okay, we can put that to the side. Besides that, what else is very Japanese? Um... The fact that it was made in Japan. <laughs> What's Japanese? <laughs> Oh. oh, ah! Don't do that again. <laughs> ah, I don't know why my face was hurting. Usually, I just start having an asthma attack. This feels like a level in Resident Evil, like four, or five. Oh man! Yeah, I'd say four. I, I love Resident Evil four. Oh, my face. Hurting from laughing. What? What did you do to me? They were made in Japan. <laughs> oh, you're you're nothing but trouble, Datchet. I know. Bang. 
So yeah, Resident Evil 4, I remember playing that on the PlayStation 2 and I really like them. We brought a strong completed it before I did. Yeah, those games, like, the, the plots and stuff, it's one of those weird things where... I'm going to blow it up just because. It's one of those weird things where it's like the, part of the series of of um, Japanese video games that are very American in, the, in what they're doing in terms of plot and location. Because they, like, take place in America and they're inspired by, like, either American history or a lot of American storytelling and movies and stuff. Like, Silent Hill is one of them. Resident Evil, Metal Gear Solid. Oops. I'm not the, sure what the town's called, but there was a, t- there's, a there's a town in America that um, is supposedly inspired um, Silent Hill. Yeah, there actually where, is a um, Silent Hill town, actually. Yeah, but there is a, a town I think they use as inspiration. What just happened? A, just died. Um. um yeah. Yeah, it's, it's um, I think it was a mining town, and there was a fire, and. Supposedly, um, I watched a video of a local person talk, say, you know, telling the history. And supposedly, if they spent, you know, a, um, a day where the fire guys were off or whatever, or a, a little bit more money, then they could have put out the fire for good. But it spread, you know. Um, well, they actually—that's not actually something from the games. That they actually used actual events as sort of inspiration for the town in the movie, in the Silent Hill movie. I don't think that was ever yeah. in the games, the references you're oh, talking no, that was, about. The, the, that, that was um, the town that I was um, talking about. That's the real town. That supposedly it was a mining town in the five yeah. courts. But, and um, you have to have a um, Vents in the ground because uh-huh. of the pressure buildup, and there's the the roads. Uh, some of the roads get warped because of the heat and like pressure and that. And when it rains in some areas because of the heat of the rocks, you you hear like the water going. Tss. That's creepy. Well, that was yeah, actually cause... part of the inspiration for the games. Um, yeah, but this is what um, the, the real town in America where the, the, they reckon that there's enough coal um, in this um, mining town for the fire to last a thousand years. Wow. Yeah, I, that that sounds like you're talking about something that was in the movie, but I don't think I've ever heard that in reference to the games. I'm not sure if the the um, if it was in the movie and. Because it was in the movie. As well, but, um, but um, no, there's a real town. I'm just gonna try and get that up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like Silent Hill, Resident Evil, and Metal Gear Solid, and there might be a few other ones where there are these these Japanese games where everyone feels like they're very Japanese, but they're clearly based off of motifs and elements of like American pop culture. Or, like, American history. Like, Metal Gear Solid series is, like, specifically very American in terms of the kind of story it's telling, which is about, like, American history. But And, the, and these are games that are, like, some of the most popular um, games. And it's probably because they don't feel super Japanese like a lot of the Animu type games where it's clearly like, this is Japanese and it has a niche market. You mean like um, that all lot of Extreme Vulnerable? Not, no, not necessarily that, but that does have a niche market. I'm talking about that weird stuff where it's like, this is a Japanese RPG and it looks like any Japanese RPG and nothing keeps it from just melting into the face of all these RPGs that most people aren't going to play. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I think I found the one that I was talking about. Um, Centrilia. Uh, um, Pennsylvania. C E N 
T R A L I A. I don't know what that means. That's the name of the town. Oh, okay. I kind of zoned out for a second. Um, but yeah, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, we were talking about a very animal game. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's just some games that just feel so, indis- so like, nothing. They just, like, fade in the background. Some people might like them, but I'll, the majority of the gaming audience, at least within the West, will be like, what is this crap? It's just... Yeah. It's nothing, really. I'm not saying the games are bad, but it's just there's nothing that help keeps them from standing out. But games like Resident Evil and Metal Gear Solid and all that, they st- they stood out so much because of the fact that they were just so not Japanese. They were so unique and different, and were was trying something completely different than most other games were. It was like a would you say like a fun take on American culture. Yeah, it was it was just like a, the Japanese appreciating a, an aspect of American culture, whether it be pop or history, and being like, hey, this is a game thing, and then it's like, cool, yeah. And they obviously have some Japanese flavor in them. But... Yeah. Oh, like one of the things that inspired Silent Hill, I think, were, some. There, I think Jacob's Ladder helped inspire some aspects of it. I watched the movie. That movie was gross. It was a movie. Um, What's Jacob's Ladder? It was a movie about a guy that was... I can't remember if he was in Vietnam or something. There's a massive twist to it. But I won't spoil it in case you ever watch it. It's kind of an okay movie. It's just there's some gross things in it. I probably won't watch it. And it made me want to throw up at one point. I, I find it hard to watch um, horror movies now. I mean, it, I, I had to like kind of watch them with like a you no know, a little tiny gap in between my fingers because um, I get scared. I mean, I never used to be like this. I used to be able to watch horror movies kind of okay, maybe jump mm-hmm. a little bit, but that was it. But now it's like, I, I mean, I think I'd be fine if I watched the movie um, muted. So that way I could see everything that happens and then watch the movie. Because once I've watched it once, then I'm perfectly fine watching it again without being yeah. all cringe. Not cringeworthy, but, you know, a little bit too... Um, too gross or body humour violent? No, no, it's just um, too um, susceptible to being scared oh. by the movie. I've never had a problem with horror movies, except for Gremlins, and that was a horror movie, it's even not though a it was movie. very... What? Gremlins is not a horror movie. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's a horror comedy, but it was originally it's supposed not... to just be a straightforward horror film, and then they're like, let's make it funny. Let's it's make them smoke. Film. But I saw it's it when I was horror. really young. It's, it's literally just like little demon monsters m- trying to murder people for fun. That, that, well, it is a horror movie, though. It's a horror comedy. It's not a horror movie. It might be a horror, a horror movie uh, for a little kid, depending on how you... It is it's a horror bizarre. movie, though. I don't care it's if it's supposed to be funny, too, because there are horror comedies. But it's still, it is supposed to be horror. It is supposed to be creepy and scary. I mean, there are scenes in it. The, the second one, that's not a horror movie, obviously. Because that's just straight up horror, comedy, silliness. Oh, but, yeah, I love the second one. What? I love the second Gremlin movie. <laughs> it's so weird because like halfway through it stops and then Hulk Hogan stands up and he's like, start it back up. I used to um, love the Hulk Hogan when I was um, a kid. Like, whenever um, you know, like wrestling was on TV, mm-hmm. you know, if I managed to see it, um, it's sort of like, oh my god, Hulk Hogan, yeah. <laughs> I remember watching this really stupid science fiction film he was in. It was like he was taking care of kids in it. So weird. Yeah. 
but his greatest film of all time is that sex tape. <laughs> Well, those are invincible. Do you want to make a sex tape with Hulk Hogan? He'll make racist comments. But you shouldn't care. Because you didn't bone him. I was going to say, I, mean, I think the only way you'd be able to make a sex tape with Hulk Hogan is if um, you were a wife of someone. <laughs> well, he was actually having sex with the friend of a friend of his. So. A, a friend, a friend, his, his friend's wife? Yeah, something like that. The, the, the guy that appeared on um, his reality TV show. I have no idea because I don't care about him. Uh, he had a reality TV show for us. Well, I knew so that. I just, I don't know anything about it. I just know that he was on it and people thought him and his daughter were really creepy. I saw a picture where somebody changed and we swapped their faces around. So um, <laughs> his, thought, his face is on his body and vice versa. Yeah, I think I've seen that before. That's really weird. It's so bizarre when people do stuff like that. Like, don't you have better things to do? And they're like, no. And then I'm like, you're right. Please do more of this. Well, the internet's a, a great place because you'll just come across random shit like that and you're like... The internet's a Why? great place for kids. Everyone's <laughs> a kid inside. Everyone's a kid inside on the internet. Yeah. Just don't tell books that. Uh oh. Stay away, Buff. No means no. What am I doing? Jeez. Now watching this in the loop, you know, kind of slow motion, it's kind of brutal because you just see all the blood and her getting shot and then Whoa. die. Come on, Pumbaa! Let's go find Taman! You'll understand why I said that in a second. It'll probably be longer than a second. Taman and Pumbaa. Where did it go? Come here, piggy! Where'd the piggy Miss go? Piggy. Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy, it's time for our medicine. You know, um, when you, when you get a chance, you, you um, put, put me in. When you get a chance once this is finished, uh -huh. you should um, re rewatch the part where there's a fight, fight and then slow it down to the slowest speed set. Just don't um, watch the realness <laughs> of it all. Yeah, I want to see all the blood. It's the fun part. Oh no, it's a zombie! I'm just going to start yeah. thinking of these guys as zombies. They're infected with whatever that thing was in, a, in the game. In five. So the, um, at number five. Yeah, not Las Plagas. Whatever they called it in uh, number five. It was some African-ish thing. Mumbo Mumbo. Did you say Mumbo Wumbo? Yeah, why not? How about Chumbo Wumba? Chumbo Wumba. I get knocked down! And I get up again! You're never gonna keep me down! They did this song for this one movie called Stigmata, and I really like this song. What was that the song you just sung? What? Was that the song you just sung? No, that was their famous song. That was, um... I'm not sure I would ask by now, but... Um... I, I remember hearing that as a kid. On the radio. Homer Simpson sings it one time. Um, on the, the show... And I don't know if he's actually singing the right lyrics, but he's like, he sings, I take a whiskey drink. I, I, I take, I, I can't, ah, I can't remember. It's like something like, I take a whiskey drink. I take a vodka drink. And then I, and then I go and pee directly in the sink. Yeah, I don't think he's singing the right lyrics. <laughs> Oh, 
This feels so much like Uncharted right now with the shields. It's like, they're not even trying to be sneaky. They're just like, let's just, uh, let's just copy them completely. Let's not be shameless. Copy face. Oh no, ouch, ouch. That's for better for you to do. If, if, if um, they, were, they were getting accused of just copying and pasting... Well, you, you can't unless they... Heavily. Well, yeah, but unless you uh, copyrighted the gameplay, which you really couldn't do that in this case, all that they could face was critics going, they copied a really good game. Yeah, I was going to say, if... if, if, if um, they, I mean, if, no. they get, if, they, if they get a little bit peeved off of hearing that all the time... They could just um, go like to say how um, Tomb Raider inspired, or to, Tomb Raider um, set the groundwork for Uncharted. Yeah, Uncharted basically just did what Tomb Raider was about, but with a different story. Like, I'm not sure if um, Assassin's Creed was out at the same, I mean, before Uncharted or around the same time. Oh. But it was beforehand, it was pretty much. Let's combine Assassin's Creed with Tomb Raider and see what happens. <laughs> I just bleeped him. That one girl is kicking our bang. But that niggas. This is not Chicago. No guns allowed. Just die. 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 Kill yourself. Fuck you, stupid shield. Ah. Can I open this? <gasps> oh. I get knocked down, and I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down, because my name is Laura Croft, and I take a bullet, and then I eat it. And dead. Now she's knocked down. She she probably wouldn't take so much damage if um, she had her original boob size. Yeah, those big old boobs. I never thought her boobs were that big. Like I always thought they could be much bigger. Um, uh, in um, originally, uh, um, they they were they were big because obviously the limitations. Well, originally they just were sharp and pointy. Yeah, but um, in the you know um. Ha know the high polygon men at the time, they, they, they were um, kind of big-ish, but uh, I think you can notice a slight, um, with each game coming out, a increase in size. I don't think it was that I bad, though, honestly. Because maybe she just got bigger boobs. Like, she's like, I need bigger boobs, so if I, if I end up in the water, I don't need a life raft. Oh, she accidentally falls off a cliff, then she's got some um, cushion for the landing. Or maybe, like, her boobs just got bigger because of all the bullets that ended up in her body over the years. So it's not an actual um, silicon, it's just a shrapnel. Yeah, it's just shrapnel. Shrapnel boobs. Whoa! That must be... That must be, um... Really annoying for her to go through airports then. <laughs> she doesn't go through airports because she has her own private jet, remember? She's rich. Ouch! I take a disco dink and then a rucka rink and then I go around in the disco sink and I get knocked down and I get up again and you're never gonna keep me down because I'm the Queen of England and I never sleep. I'm watching you, children. You better behave. What? Eddie Azard, um, a comedian, uh, a British comedian, I think. Uh huh. The guy who likes um, cross dress. Yeah, it's like um, one, one of um, a part of one of his acts was like um, I mean, he's talking about the national anthem, you know, in Britain. Mm -hmm. It's like, God save the Queen. It's like. No, I'm sure we got to say the Queen. She is in the palace behind the wall with a load of guards outside. We should be God attack, attack the Queen. That's funny. And he started, started singing, 
got attacked. The queen sent big dogs after her to fight. <laughs> That's funny. He's weird. Yeah, I like his um, earlier stuff. Well, I don't only know him as an actor. I I've, I've watched some of his um, earlier um, comedy stuff, and um, he sometimes goes, you know, does um, a, a part in you know, like a foreign language. I think there's one of his um, shows that he did called Dress to Kill. I think it was. And um, he did a section where he, he did it in like French and you could you could tell he was doing it um, talk about some something that he talked about previously because you'd hear you'd hear like a you know um, English words of um, the, you know like a monkey or parrot or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. And and um, you just heard the audience just laughing a little bit, and once he get, gets to the finishing point, he goes, "I don't know if you understood understood that, but if you didn't, that was um, some funny shit, not <laughs> funny as fuck." And then everyone just started laughing. It's like good night, and he walks off stage. I he was the. The original voice of Rip It Cheap in Prince Caspian. They changed it in the, the third movie. Prince Caspian? Yeah, Chronicles of Narnia and Prince Caspian. Oh. They changed him to... The guy who was in those the those three movies where they were done by that one guy. I mean, my brain is like completely blanking on these people's names. I'm usually, I usually have their names right. Um, the guy who was originally supposed to direct Ant-Man and then dropped out, he has that sort of trilogy of movies where it's the same actor, you know, the same two actors. Uh, the first one was uh, Shaun of the Dead. Oh, you mean the Connexo trilogy? Yeah, what's the, the, the thinner guy's it's, name? Um, is it it's Sean Penn or Peck? Ah, uh, I can't remember. Anyways, he ended up replacing Ed, uh, Eddie Izzard in, um, as the voice of Ripa Cheap in the third movie. Eddie Lizard. Whatever. Eddie Izzard. His name's Eddie Izzard, I just thought I'd say it. Eddie Lizard. <laughs> I think I'm just wasting shotgun shells now. I think I might as well just progress forward for the queen. Yay! Have you got the um, like legend and anniversary on the PlayStation Three? No. Why? I was just wondering. I got a uh, legend on the GameCube, and then I got an anniversary on the Wii. And then I got Underworld on the PS3. Why can't I open that? They've, um, I think they've, um, released the, you know, Legend Anniversary and Underworld, um, as like a trilogy. Yeah, I, I know, they did like a HD remaster or something. Well, it's not really remastered, it's just a HD skin. Well, yeah, but that's what that's what that means. Why can't I blow uh, that up? I'd say remaster is um, tweaking with, you know, the mechanics side of game, the game as well as just um, the textures and lighting. Yeah. But it's for all the people who uh, missed the games when they were yeah, out I mean, on the previous console. Tomb Raider Legend, um, that's basically the next-gen mode from the PC version. Mm. I really love the GameCube controller. That's yeah, it's a, a bit, nice um, it's a little bit weird when, um, if you're going to point it out, that they designed it the way they did, 
they um, did was because um, their camera logic was that you'd predominantly be pressing the A button and then like the B and the X and Y would be that's so that's why the A button is bigger than the other face no um, buttons as it were. Yeah, I, I it was always weird, but it was like it makes so much sense. I love it. It's beautiful. That's and why it I'm like. It wasn't hard to use. What? It wasn't hard to use. I mean, yeah. I, I, I first looked at it. It's like this isn't going to be um, easy to use, and then just start playing. It, it's like yeah. I completely forgot that it doesn't have a conventional layout. The GameCube was a really great console. Yeah, it's too bad it well. didn't get enough support from third parties. You can change your outfit. I didn't, I didn't get enough support because I mainly the disc format. I, I don't think that was really the issue. I think a lot of people are just stupid and I hate everyone. <laughs> like, so the, the disc format could only hold, like, um, I think, like, a gig, a gig or a gig and a half. Yeah, but they could just put them on two discs. They do that currently with the Xbox, because they still use DVDs. I get it. Well, the three six one. But, I mean, there's some, some of the games they were making, um, when they're putting them on the DVD um, discs, with taking up the full DVD discs. Yeah. I think Final Fantasy so XIII was like three uh, Xbox discs. Yes, they got to um, use quite a bit of the um, the up stuff on like three or four GameCube discs for a normal game. There was only one GameCube game that I can remember that I had that was two discs, and that was Enter the Matrix. Yeah. I can't really... Um, I didn't have the GameCube when it was, you know, in its um, lifespan, as it were. Mm -hmm. I, bought, I bought it a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. and um, some games as well for it. Well, all you really needed was a Wii. Because you can yeah, play all the GameCube stuff on it. It's, it was, it's part of the, I mean, GameCube, it, it's kind of quirky. It looks like a game console. Yeah. I think I'm going to quit the stream now. <laughs> I'm tired. And I probably need to walk my dog soon. But, um, thanks for joining me, Datchet. Hey, you're welcome. We'll do this again soon. Well, hopefully. Maybe I could play uh, Alien with you. Watching. Alien. Alien Isolation. Excellent. And you can go, oh! And I can go, oh! Actually, no, I'd go all oh, first, and then you'd go all oh, after me, because then you'd see it later. <laughs> oh, I could try and make you um, jump. Yeah, no, that would be mean. Like, it's in the room with you. I can hear it. I'm not scared of the Xenomorphs, though. The whole thing about the game is that I don't know where it is. Xenomorphs are always really cool looking to me. Anyways, uh, hopefully this saves right. and Because I think I did it the same way I did it the previous time, so this should be fine. But uh, thanks to everyone else for watching. Um, and that's oh, the end. Trophy pot. What? A trophy pot. A trophy pot. stream is massively... Uh, this uh, stream is massively delayed. It's about like um, 20 minutes behind because I've got it on slow speed. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, good night, everybody. Or good morning. Good night.